What's going on, you bunch of crazy hot smokers? Man with the plan, Harlow, coming at you. I'm in the garage, as you can see. Lighting ain't the best, because this camera don't like fluorescent bulbs. Kind of makes it go haywire. Y'all notice that? Got a Samsung Galaxy 5, is that right? The new one? Video camera doesn't like fluorescent bulbs. For whatever reason, just doesn't like them. But, uh, yeah, I'm sitting here enjoying a pipe. Smoking, uh, bent, naked country gentleman. Getting ready for Christmas. Getting ready for Christmas. Oh, y'all can see that. Let me turn around and see. There you go. Went to Slaw, Strauss Tobacconist. Give him a phone call right there. 888-34. Strauss. Give him a call. And, uh, They'll hook you up with some Winston Slaws. They still got some. Great Christmas blend. Very good aromatic. Um, very aromatic y. Cherry, vanilla, chocolate. Uh, maybe a little coffee. Very good. One of my one of my favorite aromatics. It's on the top five easily. I'm coming at you today, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, Christmas time's coming. Uh, we've already started celebrating. We've got the Christmas tree up. It's ready to roll. Uh, we've done very little Christmas shopping. Uh, we'll get around to it. But uh, I guess you guys probably already know. Uh, you've probably already seen this, but uh, Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. I almost screwed that up. I know. I know I was. I thought about it too much. Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. It's a mouthful. That's uh, Scott from Aristocob.com and his son Seth, Homer and Boy, uh, and the cop. This cop did come from Aristocob.com. Uh, they've started a tobacco advent. They started it last year with the first year. It's really cool. I'm sure you guys have already seen it. Go check it out. I'll put a link down here in the bucket to their tobacco advent. They do a video daily. Uh, and uh, they, they work really hard on this. They really do. Um, I know there's a lot of work that goes into doing what they're doing and making daily videos. Uh, and I've, I've decided to kind of challenge myself. I'm going to start making daily videos along with them. And uh, they are, uh, they're asking a question every day. Most of the time it's related to Christmas um, or to the season. And uh, they're asking a question and I figured I'd make a VR every day and answer. Uh, so I'm a little behind. So I'm gonna do five days right here, right now. But after this, I'm gonna do one every single day. And it may be that this video doesn't show up until after the next day. I may be off a day is what I'm trying to say. It depends on what I'm able to upload. I plan on recording a video on the way to work every morning. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I may be able to upload it to work. It's going to be short videos, a couple minutes. This one's going to be long, so get ready for it. Sorry. But most of them it's going to be a couple minutes. And uh, hopefully I can upload them at work. That way they'll be on the same day as theirs is. But uh, if not, they'll be a day behind. I'll do it in the evening when I get home from work. Uh, I did get the chance to meet the Markwood Men's Breakfast Club in, uh, in Nashville. Great guys, they really are. I've talked to, I've talked to Scott a few times uh, since then. Uh, both of them really good guys, really down to, earth, down to earth guys, easy to talk to, just genuine guys, great people, really good people. So I just kinda wanna do this to, uh, as a thank you to you guys for doing this tobacco event. It's awesome. I've really enjoyed watching, I really enjoy watching the tobacco event. It's, just, it's been a blast. get into it I'm already four minutes in okay so the question from day one was what's the best thing that has happened since last Christmas and you know I've sit and thought about this since I seen this video and I thought and I thought and I thought and I thought and honestly the best thing that's happened since last Christmas is pretty simple but you know you sit down and think about it simplicity is very important in life I feel. Um, but the best thing that's happened to me since last Christmas is I can spend more time with my wife and my dogs. That's my family. I don't have any kids. Um, so I can spend a lot more time with my family. Uh, we've moved the horses around and I don't have to take care of them as much as I used to. Used to, you know, I was up four o'clock in the morning and I don't get home till nine o'clock at night every single day. And when you do that, I mean, by the time you get home and eat supper, you're going to bed. So we never even got to talk much. 
Um, so the best thing that's happened to me since last Christmas is I've gotten to have a whole lot more family time with my little bitty family here, and I'm enjoying every bit, every minute of it. Question number, question for de- from day number two was what was your best Christmas ever? Well, similar to Boy, my best Christmas ever. I'm pretty sure Boy was talking about this on this question. Uh, I went on a scavenger hunt. I was a young, I was a young whipper snapper. I mean, I was, I don't know, seven, eight years old, maybe. Uh, no, I was younger than that. Yeah. Shit, by the time I was eight years old, I was a damn near man. Uh, <laughs> I was a big kid. We'll just say that. <laughs> I had a size 12 by the time I was in sixth grade. Yeah, I was a big kid. But, uh, size 12 shoes, what I was going for, huh? Um, I was younger. I was probably five or six. I remember it fairly well. Uh, we went on a, uh, I'm kind of like boy in that sense too. I have a crap memory. Uh, I can't, I couldn't tell you who won the Super Bowl last year. Honestly, I couldn't. I just, I don't know. I just have a crap memory like that. But, uh, we went on a scavenger hunt, me and my brother, and we, I mean, went from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. I mean, it was just ongoing, and it was an absolute blast. I can't wait to have kids and do it with them, because I remember me and my brother having so much fun. I mean, I just, and I just couldn't imagine the joy it brought to my parents, but we had a blast on this scavenger hunt. I mean, we were in the house, out the house, and growing up in Kentucky, Southern Kentucky, you know, I never seen a white Christmas, not till I met my wife and went to Illinois. For Christmas, I've never seen a white Christmas. I mean, just you don't snow much, you know, in Kentucky. It has here recently, but you know, back where I'm from, it never snowed. So you know, hell, I've had, I've had Christmases 55, 60 degrees outside, you know. So we can put her jacket on, and by jacket I mean something like what I'm wearing now. It's a real, real thin jacket, and uh, we were outside. We was inside. We was all over the place. We ended up at my dad's shop, and we got a one of those uh, power wheels. Oh, it was a Jeep. It was a military Jeep. Buddy, we and my brother, we jumped in that thing, and we drove the wheels off that thing. And I think we wound up getting sick, because uh, we want, it's all we want to do is drive it. And my mom's like, no, you got to get in the house, you know, after, you know, after it got a little cooler and cooler and cooler. And I think we wound up getting sick from it. But that was, um, that was my best Christmas ever, from my memory. I just, it was a blast. Uh, question from day three. What was the most meaningful Christmas gift you ever received? Also, once again, like boy. My, the most meaningful Christmas gift I ever received was a knife, a pocket knife. It came from my father. Uh, he uh, he had this little buck knife, and I should have got it, put it in my pocket. I didn't even think about it. Normally, it's in my pocket. I'm in my pajamas. I got my Zubaz on. I just got out of the shower, and I got my Zubaz on, so I, ain't got, I don't need a knife around the house uh, too often. I got some hidden here and there in case I need to cut something open. But it's a little buck knife. I think it's a buck light, I think, was the was the model light, L-I-T-E. He had a little red one, little bitty pocket knives. They're really light, open. They're about that long, maybe three inches, three and a half inches. Perfect pocket knife. Um, and I, my dad had a had a red one, and I always I just loved that knife. So I always wish I could have one. I wish I could have one of these. And he finally got me one for Christmas. I think I was probably I was probably around ten years old, and that was my favorite knife. I mean, and I still carry it every day. But uh, there's a cool story behind that. Y'all have seen it before. I do yay bows with it every once in a while. But I need, I need, I'll get into that later. But the story behind that knife, because I did lose it, like boy did. But I was lucky enough to find it again. Uh, but that's a story for another time. What was your favorite Christmas tradition as a child? Was the question for day number four. That right. Favorite Christmas tradition as a child. Yeah, that's right. Can't remember if I said traditional gift. <sighs> this is kind of funny. My favorite uh, Christmas tradition. I remember as being a child, and we still do it now. But I'm, I don't live at home, so I can't partake in that tradition every day like I used to. But uh, it was an Advent calendar actually. Uh, And this little counter hung on a wall. And these little pockets. I guess technically it wasn't really an advent counter. Because it went through 1 to 24. So I don't, I'm not sure how that works. But uh, at 1 to 24, it had this little mouse that you put in the pockets. A little bitty mouse. 
And every day, me and my brother, we get up and we take off running down the hall. And we look before we go, you know, before, as soon as we woke up, we had the ground running to get that counter. And we move that mouse. We take turns moving that mouse. And that was just, we, oh, it was just a blast, you know. We just, oh, Christmas is coming. It's coming. It's getting closer and closer and closer. <laughs> and I guarantee you can go to my parents' house right now and it's hung on the wall. And my brother, he still lives in the same town. He doesn't live in the same house now, but he lives in the same town. So he's probably been going over there every once in a while and making sure that that, that little mouse is being moved right. Uh, when I went off to college, he I do know he... He stayed there, and he was he was moving that mouse for me. Uh, and question day number five, and this will get me caught up for tomorrow. Day number five, what is your favorite Christmas dish, Christmas tradition as an adult? Well, I don't know that we can actually call it a tradition yet, because it just happened this year uh, for the first time. Uh, this was uh, this is pretty much going to be the first Christmas my wife and I have decorated i guess of course we celebrate we've celebrated since we've been together we always go to my family her family back and forth and see people and whatnot but this was the first christmas that we had room for a christmas tree in our house we actually got a decent size enough house to fit a christmas tree in it and you know we could have fit them in our last house but we're not here for christmas so he's like you know why well, get a tree but uh, it's kind of sad when you don't have a tree. Uh, so this year we decided to go ahead and get a tree. And uh, I'd say it's going to be a tradition. because It started this year and it's going to happen every year. We went out and uh, picked out a tree. We cut it down. We brought it home. Decorated it up. It was, we had a ball. It was just a lot of fun. Uh, me and her both had it. It was a very, very memorable day. Uh, I think we'll remember that for the rest of our lives. It very yeah, I know we will, guaranteed. But it was a lot of fun. So uh, technically, it's not a tradition yet, because a tradition is something that you do over and over. But uh, it's a start of one, so good enough, I guess. So that'll get me caught up. That was the first five days. I wish I would have thought of this earlier, where I could have started it and have to do five days at one time. But hey, that's what happens. I'm a little late, but better late than never, I guess. So. <clears throat> Go check out Markwood, Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. There'll be a link down here to uh, one of their Advent, to back Advent days. Go uh, go check it out. I guarantee you will enjoy it. You will laugh. You will cry. No. <laughs> you will laugh. I guarantee you will. You may cry, and that's okay. I may watch a video, man, and I may, it may make me cry. And if it does, y'all gonna be first ones to know. But, uh, <laughs> oh man, they're great guys. Y'all gotta go watch them. So, all right, that's it. I'm gonna bounce. I'll see y'all in the morning because I'm gonna have to get up early and watch, uh, watch day six. I'll watch it there in the living room while I'm drinking some coffee and then I'll, uh, I'll hit the road and I'll, I'll make me a VR to it. So, y'all keep at some mocha rolling. We'll holler at you.